What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beer's Garage. In today's episode, we're going to be turning this Manco go-kart into a donk by putting some 20 inch wheels with 32 inch tires on it. So what we got to do is strip it down. We're going to actually have to make a custom width axle to clear these massive wheels and tires. And these are off of my wife's SUV. We end up upgrading her to a better uh, SUV. And this was the wheels and tires we had on it and the dealership didn't want them. So I was like, let's do something stupid with them since we have them sitting outside. So we're going to be upgrading the Manco and like I said, making it into a donk. We're going to see if this 212cc Tillotson can pull it around. This has a cam, a 24 millimeter flat slide Makuni, a billet rod and flywheel in it. And we'll eventually do a lot more performance parts to help it out. And we're going to have to very aggressively gear this thing with an 84 tooth sprocket on the axle. Uh, we also have to cut the front spindles off and make custom width spindles to be able to turn the thing. I'm sure this thing is not going to work out well. I'm sure it's going to be very hard to turn and just be ridiculous, but it's all about the donk look. So let's get right into it, start stripping this thing down and uh, get this thing donked out. All right, to get the donk in progress. Uh, it's gonna look crazy. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the other side. It's awesome. <laughs> so this is literally how it's gonna set. <laughs> she all wheels, baby. And ain't that the, the southern lifestyle? Yeah, that's it. That's all you want in life. No kids, nothing, just a donk. Either you got a car with big wheels or a truck with big tires. That's the two <laughs> options. So uh, this is exactly how it's gonna set. That's the width. That's the stance, everything. I mean, the tires are leaned out because they're all supported on the side of this stand. So, I'm hoping we have an axle for that. Go Power Sport sells an axle, but I think I just used the last one, which is a 54. That sucks. We might take one off a of blue go-kart outside. We've been stripping that thing down here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's carcass. Part, part it out. It'll be a carcass when it's all done. So what we have to do is cut off, this is one solid piece of tube that goes across and the frame's notched into it. Well, this frame is super cramped because most of these go-kart frames, your feet are on the other side of the steering arms. So what we're gonna do is take off the pedals. We're gonna cut this entire bar off here and make one that is 20 inches wider than what's already on there. And then go Power Sports make these, uh, these C's that are basically a reman version of those out of quarter inch steel. And we can weld those on that longer piece. So 20 inches of width is what we're gonna overall do and we're getting those wheel hubs made up right now so that's basically what we got to start doing now is we got to cut the steering tab off our steering will be different we probably have to run a steering rack i would think so it's gonna be hard to turn those. <laughs> it's hard to turn like just decent sized tires on one of these so we'll have to get rid of the steering wheel uh steering arm and come up with something new so uh let's start taking this front end apart Done.
So this is actually three quarter inch gas pipe. Three quarter inch gas pipe has an eighth inch thick wall and uh, you can get it at any store. I didn't have time to run down and actually buy the 11 gauge uh, one inch tube that I normally use. And this is just a very hair fuzz over one inch tubing. So it's gonna work just fine. Now I just need to build the front bulkhead out here because uh, the pedals used to be behind this. We're gonna put them in front of it and the steering will be on the back side here. So we're gonna have to probably mount a rack, steering rack on this because I don't see um, steering this with a standard push rod setup. So. So this is a Go Power Sports front wheel hub. And you can buy in the links in the video description, you can get these off Amazon. This comes with four different ones. It comes with two, four lug pattern, one six and one five, and it has every lug pattern on it. So what I did was I laid it on here, centered it with my calipers. So it's as centered as we're gonna get it. And uh, if I had my plasma table, I could just blast out a new disc and we could cut this disc off with the, the lathe and weld on a new one to this bearing setup but we don't have it. Um, so we got these marked out and we're ready to drill them. I'm gonna start off with a small bit and then work my way up to a big bit because this is about a quarter inch thick of steel.
guys thank you so much for watching today's video i know this donk is absolutely ridiculous we're going to do a lot of frame stiffening we need to do a double uh, section on those front spindles as well as do the extra axle bearings that whole frame is just super flexible it's not that thick of steel to begin with so we're going to do a lot of bracing to make it strong because let's face it this go-kart will never go back to a normal go-kart it'll be the donk go-kart uh forever and we just want it to basically be able to cruise we don't care if it's super fast we just want it to take off okay and you know be able to do 15 mile an hour or something like that because i think this would be pretty cool to take to swap meets and stuff and ride around and car shows just uh act crazy with so uh, let me know what you think of the donk in the video description make sure to check out the links of the parts that we use on this build and we have the parts that's in that tillotson we are going to up the power a little bit by doing some head work and stuff to that tiltson engine just to help it out uh, to take off and we basically have an 84 tooth on the axle and a nine tooth on the cvt i think that is a 9.8 gearing ratio i believe it was i can't remember the math on it uh, but it should work out all right and that was the biggest sprocket that i could find in a number 40 that i could get here for this video so next episode we'll be bracing up the frame and putting the steering back on with that go power sports challenger x rack it is the best thing to use on these yard carts especially pulling big tires like this it'll help it out a ton so thank you so much for watching let us know what you think of this donk in the video description or the comment section below and uh, we really appreciate you guys supporting us all these years we hope to see you at sema and at the gps 180 race and at Fabtech in Atlanta. We're going to be at all those places, and then our meetup comes up in December. Go to rbgcarts.com slash events to find out all the places we're going to be. We would love to hang out with you guys and meet you there and talk with you about your builds and everything. Uh, we would love to see you out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and God bless.